So we have to prove this statement for harmonic numbers. So here h sub m is called the mth harmonic number. So it's equal to this sum here. So for example, h sub 1 would be equal to 1. h sub 2 would be equal to 1 plus 1 half, etc. So to prove this, we'll use mathematical induction, so proof. Before we start the proof, let's identify what our statement is. This entire thing here, this will be s sub n. And we have to show that this is true for every positive integer n. So the first step is the base case. And since we're proving this is true for every positive integer, we'll start with the smallest one, which is 1. So we're going to replace all of the n's with 1's and see if our statement is true. So the left-hand side, when n is equal to 1, is the sum as j runs from 1 to 1 of h sub j. This means we plug in 1, so we get h sub 1, and h sub 1 is equal to 1. The right-hand side, well, we just replace all of the n's with 1's on the right-hand side. So this is 1 plus 1 times h sub 1 minus 1. So 1 plus 1 is 2. The first harmonic number we know is 1. Then minus 1, so 2 minus 1 is 1. So the left-hand side is the same as the right-hand side. So our statement is true when n is equal to 1. So s sub 1 is, in fact, true. The next step is the induction hypothesis. Induction hypothesis. This is the step where we suppose that our statement is true for some positive integer k. So suppose our statement is true when n is equal to k. So we're just going to replace all of the n's in our original formula with k. So we have the sum as j runs from 1 to k, h sub j equals k plus 1 h sub k minus k. And we're, we're assuming that this is true for some positive integer k. In the induction step, we have to prove that this is true when n is equal to k plus 1. So we replace all of the n's with k plus 1's, and we have to show that that statement is actually true. So let's go ahead and do the induction step now. Induction step. In order to do the induction step, it helps to write down what you're trying to prove so that we can kind of figure it out. So claim that the statement is true when n is equal to k plus 1. So we claim that if we replace if we replace all of the n's with k plus 1's, that our statement is in fact true. So replacing all of these k's, since we can't see the n's, I'll just replace the k's. k plus 1 plus 1, h sub k plus 1 minus k plus 1. This is what we have to prove. Now, 1 plus 1 is 2, so let's go ahead and rewrite this as k plus 2, h sub k plus 1, minus k plus 1. So this is what we have to show. We just replaced all of these k's with, with k plus 1. So we got k plus 1, k plus 1, k plus 1, k plus 1. And then 1 plus 1 was 2, so we combined them. All right, here's where it gets tricky. So we'll start by writing down the left-hand side, and we'll show it's equal to the right-hand side. So note, well, we have the sum as j runs from 1 to k plus 1 of h sub j. Now we somehow have to use our induction hypothesis up here. So let's write this as a sum from 1 to k. So this is the sum from 1 to k of h sub j. But then we're missing the last term, so plus h sub k plus 1. Right, these are exactly the same thing. Here we just added them all up from 1 to k plus 1 and 
a single step. Here we add them up from 1 to k, and then add the last term, the k plus 1th term. Now we can use the induction hypothesis, because we know that this is equal to this via the induction hypothesis. So this is equal to k plus 1 h sub k minus k plus, and we still have this piece here, the k plus 1th harmonic number. Now we have to think about where we're going. We're trying to get to this over here. And you notice that here we have an h sub k, uh, but we don't have an h sub k over here. So let's go to the side and see if we can figure out maybe how we can write h sub k in terms of h sub k plus 1. So note, h sub k is 1 plus 1 half plus dot 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 plus 1 over k. And h sub k plus 1 is 1 plus 1 half plus dot 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 plus 1 over k plus 1 over k plus 1. So we can write h sub k plus 1 as, well, all of this, this is h sub k plus 1 over k plus 1. So h sub k is equal to h sub k plus 1 minus 1 over k plus 1. Let's go over that again. So I wrote down h sub k. I wrote down h sub k plus 1. And the goal is to somehow combine them and write them together so that we can eliminate this h sub k. Well, you'll notice that h sub k plus 1 is really all of these guys plus 1 over k plus 1. But all of these guys, this is just h sub k. Then you subtract 1 over k plus 1 from both sides, and you get this equation here. So let's go ahead and rewrite what we have using that equation. So continuing, this is equal to k plus 1. And we know something about h sub k. It's h sub k plus 1 minus 1 over k plus 1. So it's h sub k plus 1 minus 1 over k plus 1. And this is minus k, and this is plus h sub k plus 1. Here we have k plus 1 distributing h sub k plus 1. And then k plus 1 times this, that's just minus 1. And then we have minus k, and then here we still have this plus h sub k plus 1. This is equal to, well, we have k plus 1 h sub k plus 1 plus 1 h sub k plus 1. That gives us k plus 2 h sub k plus 1s. And this is minus k plus 1, factoring out the minus sign. And that's exactly what we want. Now, if this step uh, of getting this was too much, you can go to the side and, and grind it out. k plus 1 h sub k plus 1, and we combine that with, with this one here, so plus h sub k plus 1. This is k and then the h, and then the h, it's being multiplied by 1, and then the other h. It's a lot of h sub k plus 1s. <laughs> this is k h sub k plus 1, and you have two of these, so plus 2 h sub k plus 1, and then you can factor out the h sub k plus 1. I said, did I, did I do all this in my head? Absolutely not. I thought of it this way. You have k plus 1 of these, and then you have one of them. So k plus 1 plus 1 is k plus 2. This is exactly what we had to show. So s sub k plus 1 is true. So therefore, by PMI, the principle of mathematical induction, s sub n is true for every positive integer n. I hope this helps someone out there.